Hi there, welcome to Kevy Shaves. Very nice to see you and it is nice to be back here shaving. Uh, it's still daylight here. Um, it's getting on now. It's kind of the sun's going down a little bit so I just wanted to get this shave in uh, just before uh, darkness falls and I have to put the towel and the lights and the light falls in the shower and the sink and the blow myself up and uh, yeah so I just <laughs> just wanted to get this done while it's still daylight. How's things with you? How's uh, life treating you where you are? I hope it's going well, I hope you're uh, enjoying life and uh, staying fit and healthy. Uh, right, today's shave is a mixture of everything. Uh, some stuff, there's some new stuff, there's stuff I haven't used before, some stuff I haven't used for a very very long time um, but let's get that started straight away with a, a pre-shave oil. I don't usually use pre-shave oils or I haven't for a long time, so I thought, why not, it's there. Uh, this is the Art of Shaving Lemon Pre-Shave. Uh, I think I, I got this when I was in, might have been Florida, good seven, eight years ago now. Um, yeah, look, you can see I've not used much, but uh, it's a nice lemon scent, so we'll just use a, yeah, there's quite a big gap at the top there, so I'll just put my finger over it and just let it drizzle out. Drizzle, drizzle, drizzle. That should be enough, I think, hopefully. Yeah, so there's just a little bit in my hand there, so I'll just warm it through, a palm, and then I'll put it onto the beard. Yeah, it's a lovely, um, as old as it is, it still um, has its scent. Nice lemon scent out of shaving. Yeah, some people don't like the art of shaving scent. It's too expensive and it's uh, it's only in big expensive shopping malls and stuff, but um, it's uh, it's good stuff. I had I had some of their creams and stuff, I think I gave them away, but um, I think I only have this left now. Uh, the pre-shave oil and maybe uh, some other lemon, I maybe have a lemon balm somewhere, uh, the kind of match for this. So I'm just, uh, I'm just taking that off the lid there. Just making sure it's all, stuff like that. Yeah, some people say pre-shave oils clog up the brush and the the uh, the razor and stuff like that. And I've never found it to do that. Yeah, so you can see like my, uh, I don't know whether that's coming across, my beard's glistening. I need a shave, yeah. I have about four, five days growth here. Yeah, so just as, a, as I say, a mixture of everything. Uh, the soap is a, a, a new soap. I was contacted in September of last year, remember that, many months ago, uh, from a guy in South Africa. Um, he is, uh, his name's Edward, and he said, I'm a, a wet shaver and I watch your videos and there's a company in Pretoria in South Africa called Bundu Beard. Um, they make soaps and different stuff like that. I'd like to send you four pucks of their soap. Um, it'll be kind of towards the tail end of the year and it'll probably be after New Year by the time they get here. Long story short, uh, the package arrived the other day. Uh, I got a big box, kind of about this size, <laughs> and there was more than four soaps in it. Uh, that's all I'm going to say. There was lots and lots of soaps in it. Uh, and, and lots of other shaving um, gear, body soap. You, you might have seen Sir Lennon. I think he maybe got the same box. Uh, from Bundu Beard in South Africa and I think it's amazing that um, all these wet shavers all over the world and you I've never heard of this company and uh, I'll put a link for their website. The website's um, quite extensive. They have lots of different soaps, lots of different scents. Um, I don't, I can't make it out what some of them are because some of some of it is obviously referencing um, Afrikaans which is what they speak over there I guess but um, yeah it's all very good. So the one I've chosen today is uh, this one. There we go. And uh, here's the name of it here. As I say, it's in Afrikaans, so it's, I'm gonna butcher it. Lemoento ye indi lavello. It's an orange soap. Uh, the ingredients are, it's cold pressed, which is uh, it's a kind of glycerin, virgin coconut oil, glycerin, sodium stearate, there. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, so um, yeah, this one, on the website, all those so all the soap descriptions, they go into very, a lot of detail and stuff about them. Um, I don't know what some of them are, so I'm, I'm gonna have to kind of research the website to 
to uh, find out what they are. This one doesn't even have the ingredients on the back because I think they said we created the soap a year or two back but never listed it as, it as we only made a few tubs and it was sitting right at the end of the shelf, overlooked, lost and confused. Um, so, <laughs> but um, yeah, here it is here. So it's a, it's a hard old puck. There it is. Yeah, so it's, uh, as I say, it's a cold pressed soap. And uh, the, the notes on this are, uh, for the fragrance, we used orange, cinnamon, peppermint, and rosemary essential oils. We wanted to add a somewhat bitter element to the soap, much the same as the smell you'd get from uh, breaking the skin. And for this, we used wide owls, eucalyptus, wormwood, and bukes bossy essential oils. Bukes bossy must be some kind of African uh, essential oil, I guess. So there it's there. Yeah, but it's, uh, it's primarily kind of orange and peppermint, which sounds like a strange mix, but it works. It's a nice uh, scent. Yeah, there's so many soaps in that, uh, the box they sent over. But um, I'll maybe contact some other YouTubers and see if they wanna wanna try them and use them and stuff, because there's, there's absolutely, <laughs> there's too many for me to get through, like in reviews and stuff. Um, I'd be using them for a year uh, to kind of try and get through them, but, all their uh, lids and stuff like that, all the artwork on them, very nice. It has a, all a South African feel and theme to it. Yeah, so this one, it, but it explains it on the website. This is like a village woman going to market. Yeah, they're, they're all very nice. So, a, a whole new shaving shop online, albeit from uh, South Africa. Didn't even know it existed, never heard of it. So um, yeah, that's good. I love I love getting stuff like that. I love to know that there's stuff out there, uh, and these guys are so passionate and they put so much work into their website and stuff like that. So yeah, uh, they do everything, body butters and soaps and have a look at it. I'll uh, I'll put a link and you can go and take a look at yourself. Okay, fair enough. Okay, right. Let's go on with the shave, Kevy. Right. Okay, let me show you the brush I'm going to be using today. Um, I don't know if I've used this on video. I might have done. It's a Wilkinson sword brush. It's um, fairly recent. It's a synthetic. They brought out a synthetic one uh, last year sometime. Don't know if I've used this on camera actually. Uh, and this is a synthetic knot. It's not very good. It costs about two or three pounds in home bargains in the UK. It's a uh, usual sort of stuff. Uh, made in Germany, is it? Made in Germany, yeah. Uh, there is the same shape handle as the other Wilkinson sword brushes, but this one is a synthetic knot. It looks kind of like a cashmere knot almost. It feels soft. It's really floppy. There's not that much hairs in it, but we'll see how we go on. I wanted to use it. I wanted to show you guys, so I can't remember if I've used it on video before. There we go. Right, Razor, the uh, old trusty Edwin Jagger D89 with the laser 3D diamond handle. Yeah, the black handle. Yeah, so if you know the uh, Edwin Jagger, there we go, it has Edwin Jagger around the, uh, around the collar there. Is that going to focus? Yeah, there we go. Yeah, so it has Edwin Jagger around there. And uh, yeah, all very nice. Great knurling on it. So it's a three-piece razor. It comes apart like that. There's the little washer. I put on all my razors. Let me put that in the sink in case it falls down. There's the... Uh, Top cap and base cap, yeah, pretty standard. Edwin Jagger D89. Uh, the blade I'm going to be using is a Pulse Over Super Iridium on its fourth use. Three dots on there, so fourth use. Here's the uh, package. I don't think they make these anymore. They're quite hard to come by anyway, uh, but I have a good stash of them. I've been giving away some wet shavers and that as well. So uh, fourth use on that blade. Do you, ever, do you ever use a blade for four uses? Yeah, sometimes. Who are you talking to, Kevy? I don't know. Come on, Kevy, your pre-shave oil will be dried in by now. No, no, still, I can still see it glistening. Right, so there's the little washer on. Yeah, someone asked in the comments, where can I get the washers? Search on eBay or Amazon for plastic washer size M5. There you go, and you'll get them. So there we go, Edwin Jagger D89. Right, that's everything done. Let's uh, wet this brush. The Wilkinson Sword Synthetic. 
Give a little flip to there as it looks like a. If anyone's Scottish familiar with Urwally in the in the Bruins in the Sunday Post, this looks like Urwally. <laughs> Urwally's a little um, a young guy that's a, a cartoon character. He, he's in a, a newspaper every week, every Sunday, and uh, once a year at Christmas, well Christmas time, they bring out an uh, an annual of his cartoon strips. Right. So let's go with this soap called. There, you, you can pronounce it. Lemiontiet in the Livyield, which basically means orange. Right, brush is wet. Let's just go right in. Yeah, so I'll let the water just let that drip off. Yeah, scent is coming out now. Orange and peppermint, you wouldn't think that works, but it's nice. It's good soap. Well, the scent, I don't know how it performs. I, I never actually looked on YouTube to see if there's anyone use these soaps, I would think they would be because they have a massive um, what's the word? Inventory. Inventory. <sighs> yeah, 2024 is going to be the year of the Kevy big words. <laughs> Inventory. Inventory. Inventory? Inventory. Yeah, you didn't even say it right, Kevy, you thickle. Sorry. <laughs> right, let's go with that. If we need to go back to the pup for some more, we will. Yeah, so I don't know how this is going to perform, how it's going to feel, anything like that. Right, let's uh, just start applying it. Yeah, so if you know the Wilkinson saw brushes, it's the same handle, but this one is a synthetic knot. Uh, the other one's, um, I think it's a board knot, isn't it? It's made to look like a badger. Yeah, it's the kind of band, sort of around here and stuff. This is a nice little soap. Adding some water here. Yeah, some of the soaps from a um, little bit more water. Some of the soaps from uh, Bundu Beard have. Um, like African animals and stuff on them. So like gazelles and uh, giraffes, stuff like that. But um, as I say, the website goes into great detail about the um, the description of the soaps are great. You have to uh, read it yourself to find out, but they're really good. The nice lana this is creating. I'll tell you what, it's taking a, a lot of water. I like. I'm not getting any kind of. I need more water in that. I'm not getting any kind of irritation yet. There's no uh, tingling and stuff, so which is good. That's a good sign. Wow, there's a. Uh, Flying off the brush, which means it's uh, getting near to hydration point. Scent strength on this, I would say, is about a, maybe about a five. You can smell it, but it's good. Yeah, look at that. Really good soap. And this, uh, not the best brush, but it's working. It's doing its thing. Right. Go with that. So heat this razor up the blade. Right, that's good. I don't know if I'm getting a little bit of tingling here. We'll see how it goes. But uh, Evan Jagger with the Paul Silver with the fourth use. Yeah, it might be. I've uh, I've had a little bit of a a cold, so it might be just that. Um, my lips have been really sore with that. You know, with the, the cold weather, we've had some. Uh, we've had some snow here.
good slickness on that. Yeah, we've had some snow in uh, Scotland. To be fair, we haven't had it too bad here. Uh, over on the sort of, on the east coast. But um, up north, north of Scotland in the, the highlands and the west coast, the west coast of Scotland have had, uh, the snow's been quite bad over that way, so. But it's cold. Oh, it's been cold. Mind you, not that cold, because uh, I have a friend who stays in uh, Moose Jaw in Canada. And the temperatures there have been like minus 36, and with the wind chill, like minus 47. I'm like, yeah, it's a little bit cold here, but <laughs> it's, not, it's not as cold as that. I love this razor. It's so comfortable to use. Right, let's have a, a little look at that. Yeah, good slickness on that soap. Yeah, right, is my face looking red? Not really, no. Right, okay, I'll rinse this off and I'll come back for pass number two. Okay, rinsed off nicely. Yeah, this feels good. Right, let's go back to this uh, Wilkinson Sword synthetic brush. Yeah, some of their soaps. I was reading uh, one that had a, a a giraffe on the uh, on the, the the label. You know, the same sort of artwork as this. You know, same sort of must they must use the same uh, person to do all the artwork. And it said, um, if you've ever been kicked from a giraffe, which I don't think many people have that watch these videos. Perhaps maybe there is. If you've been kicked by a giraffe, let me know. <laughs> In the comments, uh, they said this one will uh, this one will feel like that. The amount of menthol we've put in it, <laughs> so all stuff like that. But that looks good. Yeah, still plenty of lather in that. Right, class number two across the growth of the hair. Yeah, did you notice I got a, a new wig made? A little bit overhang on the uh, the D eighty nine sticking out the side here, so just be careful. It's funny, right? Because um, I'm very lucky, and I get to try out lots of different razors. But um, that's my phone. Uh, When you come back to this iconic razor, D89, Edwin Jagger, uh, a razor that's been copied literally hundreds of times. Uh, you come back to this razor and uh, it's like putting on a, it's like putting on a pair of comfortable shoes again. It's just like, ah, uh, now I remember why I liked you. You know, all these uh, fancy razors that you get, they, they, they're great to use, but when you come back to this and you just think, perfection. Yeah, there's a couple little weepers here. Perfection, with the Paul Silver Blade. It just does what it's supposed to do. I've actually caught that little thing there, like that little mole thing I've got. Yeah, it looks like I've caught that. We'll see how it goes. I might need to put some styptic on that just to, yeah, I don't need any more. I'll maybe put some on when I'm rinsing this off. Right, I'll do that just now. Let me rinse this and I'll come back for the third pass. Okay, that's that rinsed. Yeah, let me just uh, tend to this. Right, you know you know something? People use styptic pencils and stuff. I use um, Parasso styptic gel. It comes in this little tube. Uh, you just need a little bit like that. 
Can you see that there? Yeah, so like, yeah, see it's, I must have just taken the top off of it. I'll just put a little bit of that on it. Sting, 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 but that's okay. I'll just rub that on it. You can see what I'm doing there. Right, we'll see how that goes. Yeah, I've not done that for a long time. There's a couple of bits in here as well. But, um, yeah, so that's what I use. I use the Parasol Styptic Gel on that little. It's not a mole, it's like a, just like a skin blemish. It's, it's a beauty spot. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> right, let's get some wetness back on this. Yeah, so you can see like because the, the, the styptic's there, it's, the lather's just disappeared. Right, let me just go back to the puck, collect some more. Just to put on that bit. There we go, that's better. Yeah, this brush doesn't uh, hold much lather actually, but it's fine for what it is. Just like this on the soap. Right, I'll just put that there. Right, Edwin Jagger, D89, Paul Silver, Super Radium, with soap from Bundu Beard. Uh, that I'm not going to try and pronounce. <laughs> Very comfortable. Razor. Right, you just be careful here. Yeah, there's a couple of whippers here, um, here and there, but um, it's like this is good. It's not massively over slick, but it's definitely there. Um, yeah, they, so they do. Um, they do some vegan soaps and also some uh, tallow soaps. So, uh, depending on what's your preference, you know, you could uh, you could go for a vegan soap or a towel soap. But they have a, a vast selection on their website. Right, three passes done. Yeah, that feels slick. Feels nice, actually. Let me have a quick rinse. some pickups. I tell you what, there's hardly anything there. There's a tiny, tiny, tiny little bit there. Just in that one spot. Feels good, feels good. Right, I'm gonna get the alum. Get the alum block. Here we go. And uh, I'll just uh, re wet my face. Wet the alum block. And I'll see how this feels. 
I think. Tiny bit there where those uh, two little weepers are. Yeah, a little bit over that bit, but yeah, down here where these little dots are, but other than that, feels pretty good. Yeah, it feels good. Nice and smooth. Not a great deal of feedback at all. It's very good. Right. I'll uh, I'll leave this alum on. There's not that much left in this brush. Um, so I'm not gonna, well, I might do a face wash, but there's not that much good ingredients in it uh, in terms of like butters and, and fats and stuff like that. So uh, I'll leave this on, let it do its thing. Uh, I'll clean up my gear and I'll come back for the post shave. So I will see you very soon. Excellent shave. Good way to start January. Well, it's not the start of January, but you know how you feel in January. Kind of, oh, January is that. But you always feel better after a shave. Yeah, it feels nice. Right, onto the post shave. A little bit of witch hazel. Um, just my standard stuff. Good for the skin. Yeah, that's an excellent shave. Good. Uh, onto the uh, splash. I'm not sure if I've used this before on camera. I think I was sent it from somebody as a kind of they gave me some samples and they sent this as well. Uh, I don't have the soap for it, so but it's a nice splash. Uh, tiki bar soap surfs up aftershave. This kind of lasts. It has a like a vanilla sort of woodsy scent. Quite nice. Yeah, we'll go for some of that. It does. Um, it does have a quite a good last to it. Yeah, it's nice. It's um, there's a little bit of menthol in that as well, which is good. Tiki bar soaps a blast from the past, eh? I think I still have uh, one or two of their soaps. I uh, can't remember what it's called. They, they kind of used to have like a piratey sort of theme to it. Some of them like a um, aquatic sort of thing going on. Yeah, a good bit of menthol in that, which I can feel, like you can see my eyes. Uh, and finishing off with some Boots the Chemist Cucumber Moisturing Lotion. For a smooth day. Just because it's there. And I decided, yeah, let's, uh, let's use some of that. You don't need much, just a little bit. Cucumber. Yeah, there is a good, good hit of menthol in that. Look, my eyes are streaming. Yeah, so a good selection of different scents and stuff. So it smells like a bit of a hardware store, but there you go. Like the hardware department of a hardware store. <laughs> yeah, like the menthol in my cheeks. I always turned my cheeks red. <laughs> For some reason. But um, yeah, I can really feel that mental there. But there we go. Good shave. Good, good shave. Right, let me show you what I've used. Uh, the soap, Bundu Beard Shaving Supplies. Uh, this one's called That. There it is, all cleaned out. Yeah, all uh, ready to be dried. That will just sit for a couple of days, just drying out. Yeah, so a good soap. Um, I say it's a cold pressed soap, easy to lather, good glide on it, um, good slickness, not amazing, but um, it is good, it's good for, for what it is. Um, bit, of a, bit of a, not a weird scent, but you listen, you look at the notes, but I, the most I got from that was um, orange and peppermint, which was, kind of sounds a bit funny, but the peppermint kind of came to the fore a little bit, uh, but good, good enough soap to use. Yeah, as I say, look at their website and, um, They've got a vast array of different soap. Something might catch your eye, I don't know. Um, but you'll have to read through the descriptions to, to kind of see what's what. But that's what I'm going to do because I've got a lot of soaps. But again, I said I might contact some other YouTubers and see if they if you want if they want me to send out the soaps to them. Um, I can do that just to kind of give them a bit, bit, bit more exposure. I don't know, what do you think? 
Yeah, okay. Um, the brush, Wilkinson Sword, synthetic. Uh, the Wilkinson Sword, <laughs> sorry, I just seen that. I was just like, oh, that's a little weeper there. Um, Wilkinson Sword, synthetic brush. Uh, very cheap brush, not the best, but it done the job. Uh, the razor, the good old trusty Edwin Jagger D89 with a 3D laser diamond handle. Uh, inside that, fourth use Paul Silver Super Iridium. Excellent razor, excellent blade, uh, very good. Oh, oh, we started the shave with the uh, Art of Shaving pre shave oil. I used that for a long time. Uh, we used a little bit of the Parasol Styptic Gel on this. Little thing up here, but it seems to be okay now. Um, three passes, pickups, and we use the Allen block. Put little bits down here and down here and over here and over here, a little bit there, but um, <laughs> that worked. Uh, post shave was witch hazel, tiki bar soaps, surfs up, and finished it with Boots the Chemist cucumber moisturising lotion. And there we go, that's the shave. Yeah, it feels, um, it's very smooth. Feels good. There's a couple little dots here and there, but nothing that you can't take care of. <laughs> yeah, as I said, I think I don't know whether it's the winter months. I said that before with the cold weather. I don't know whether my skin kind of suffers for it. I maybe should moisturise it more, uh, but I don't know. Right, okay, that's enough for me for today. Uh, thank goodness. Thank you. Um, so I'll, I'll see you in the next shave. Have a great weekend. Uh, look after loved ones. If you're going out celebrating anything, yeah, uh, I hope it's good. Stay safe and stay warm if you're in the Northern Hemisphere. In South Africa, they're probably uh, going to be into summer now. They'll probably be having nice warm weather but um, in Australia and stuff. But yeah, not that we're jealous. <laughs> right, okay. I'll see you in the next shape. Until then, take care.